down in flames, and a piece of U.S. Air Force future is history. The House bank scandal deepens. The special prosecutor says it could become a criminal case. And Eye on America. Tonight, why so many members of Congress are packing it in. This is the CBS Evening News. Good evening, Dan Rather reporting. Afghan rebels officially took over the government of Afghanistan today, replacing the defeated Moscow-supported regime. But fierce fighting is still going on in some places against a holdout fundamentalist Muslim rebel faction. CBS newsman Terry Phillips is on the scene in Kabul. After months of intensive negotiation, Afghanistan's new coalition leadership has come to Kabul. The man named to head this interim council is Sigbatullah Mujadidi. He arrived in the capital city this morning with a convoy of cars and trucks carrying thousands of heavily armed rebel troops. These Mujahideen warriors fired their weapons into the air to celebrate victory over the former communist regime. After 14 years of civil war, Afghanistan's new council is to set up a democratic government representing the country's various tribes. But two rival factions are still fighting in and around the capital. Early this morning, the airport was shelled. Throughout the day, heavy artillery thundered in the hills around Kabul. Some shops have reopened today. However, most people are staying off the streets, saying it's still too dangerous to leave home. Even that is risky. Many rockets are landing in residential neighborhoods. Mujadidi says his council is counting on foreign aid to rebuild the country. But they face an enormous challenge. Much of Afghanistan has been devastated by this war. And until the fighting stops, rebuilding will have to wait. Terry Phillips for CBS News, Kabul.